couple of years ago, as you can see, Benny did his World's Exploration, which was a visit to a um, sort of prequel to Second Life called Worlds, which uh, you can you can Google. It's available here. But this version, last I checked, doesn't quite work. As you can see, there are multiple websites. There's worlds.net and worlds.com. But the one you want to download it from, the link will be in the description, this one. This one works. You don't have to install Java or anything. And I, from, from my personal experience, it just installs. You run it in compatibility mode. Run as administrator always. Then you won't have any problems with it. Once you've had it installed, once you download it and everything like that from this little link here, you can run it. However, before we get started, a side note, contrary to popular belief, this website is not entirely creepy. It does not have a bunch of people willing to freak newbies out by acting weird. They are actually normal people who haven't appreciated the uh, attention, but also do appreciate actual interest in the game itself because they are all very, very dedicated to it. So this video is going to teach you a little bit of etiquette as well as show you some cool places to visit. So it's sort of like, a, you know, here, you can come here, but this is how you should act. Upon installing it for the first time, you will have to do a, a go through a login process. I have already registered. I registered years ago. I, years ago. Once you've done that, you will be in Ground Zero, which is uh, probably the most active room in Worlds, depending on the time of day. You will notice a few familiar names: Sir Raising Hell and Sir Gemini. They are both old members. In fact, they might be one of the few people actually keeping this place alive. You will have to download each of these areas as you go in. It's not too difficult. There's an auditorium down here that has nobody in it. That is the, that is the default avatar. I, I am a penguin. There you go. Penguin dancing with people. In case that's what you wanted to see. Oh look, it's one of the rooms that Vinny visited. There is a secret puzzle here. I am unable to do it. It will take you a very long time to figure this out. No. No. If anyone actually manages to get up there, I will give them a Mars bar. There are other areas, aside from um, Ground Zero, which you can visit. This one's Animal House. Again, this would have been a lot more popular back in the day with people. I think you can actually play darts. I don't know how to. People would have actually visited here. Here is one of the other areas that Vinny visited. Again, all worlds are interconnected, so... Well, most of the worlds are interconnected, so you can wander around, find new places. Only VIPs may go there. Oh. Fuck! I need to get my VIP back. Here you go, here's the disco room. God knows how I got there. The bathrooms, with their, uh... Fairly creepy, not toilets. Again, Vinny was lucky enough to accidentally stumble across this. See, look, the people here are real. This is proof. It is very important to be polite to the people here. They are real human beings, regardless of what it might seem. Here would be the chat room section. Section for teens. As you can see, the, there are no teens anymore. Section for marriage. Oh, look, no one's here either. Now, while you can explore basic worlds through Ground Zero and the little mini map down here, through the universe map, as you can see, there is quite a few. Bowie World, Handsome World. These are artists that at the time had a vested interest in worlds. They probably don't now. You will have to download each world individually as you come to them. Doesn't take too long. I mean, they're only like a couple of megabytes at most. Here's the hand garden. While it seems bizarre, I should also mention that, yeah, David Bowie did have a bit of a say in this. And he was a strange individual. And here we are in Hanson World, which is kind of bizarre. It's... No, I, I download later. Thank you. I don't need to go that way. Kind of bizarre in that Hanson hasn't been even mentioned for a very long time. I could take you through all the individual worlds for the basic vanilla game. I think everyone is much more interested in the custom user content, which you can access. There are worlds marks in the description. You can access them by adding them to your worlds marks. This one is called Jimbley's Beach. Probably recognize this from our Vinny's stream. In this room, which is yet to load in its textures. Thank you. Good. 
You can see individual worlds by users. A lot of these people probably don't come here anymore. Some of them might even be dead. I will visit one or two of them. I know that uh, Tyler World is one of my favorites. As you can see, it's Animal House. But wait. It's scary. No, get it away from me. No, no, no. Get it away from me. Get up. Yeah, I didn't get away from it. This is the inside of Tyler World. Employees must wash hands. Some very Doom-like graphics. There is a game here, sort of a mini game, where you can uh, click on things, learn a little bit of detail, a little bit of story. I personally won't go through it right now because I feel like other people would like to do that themselves. And also, I don't really know which direction to go. It's been a while. Yeah. Okay. Back in the travel room. Here's another one that uh, Vinny went to. Now remember, these are chat sites in within another chat. These are basically chat rooms within a chat room. Back in the day, people would have used these to talk, but there are a few which are more story-based. Continuing onwards. If you continuously follow the alien heads, you'll end up lagging. They're walking inside each other, it's very good. And here we are on the bridge with a Scotsman and a couple of supermodels, one of whom has legs longer than her torso and her head combined. And we are now returning to Earth. And you might recognize this from Vinny's stream. Oh look, a local. Now we observe a world's local in their natural habitat. Something that might not be very common. There is another one here. I, I think, I think a lot of Vine Source fans will appreciate this. Personally, I never actually got around to playing LSD Dream Simulator. Something I've been meaning to do. Actually, if you'd like to see it on this channel, let me know. I'm, I'm meant to change my perspective to make this make sense, but I, I can't be bothered doing that, so... Also, the textures just won't load. So I suppose it doesn't matter. Now, there are many other rooms that people would have recognized from Vinny's stream, and they are all accessible from various locations like Jimbley's Beach or the well, universe map that you can see here. However, I'm not going to go through all of them because the video would be incredibly long. I'd like to get into the meat of the video, so I'm just going to leave this world mark here. Here you go, guys. Have fun exploring. Also, the lag is intense in this room. Now, before I finish the video, I would like to remind everyone that each person that you come across in worlds is a real person. They do not appreciate people treating them like spoops. They aren't actually spoops. There is one user who is the exception. I was hoping he'd show up for this video, but looks like he won't. He likes to take his role very seriously. If you do come across him, you can get the spoop that you desire. So please try not to bother anyone. Chat, treat it like an actual chat system. You're talking to people who have been here for years. They do have stories to tell. Please enjoy worlds. Please look at all the world's marks. Experience the weirdness that is an internet relic. I'll actually talk to this person and I'll have a nice conversation, I hope. Uh, in the meantime, all the download links and the world marks are in the description. Please like the video, share it if you feel like you know people who would benefit from the information in here. World has a special place in my heart and I would like it to survive as long as possible. Subscribe if you want to see more weird stuff. I'm probably going to have a nice little playlist developing. So until then, enjoy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.